Hey y'all, I just want to update you guys real quick. I'm still pregnant. I did not end up going to the hospital. I'm actually at the parking lot at my um, doctor's office, which is across the street from the hospital. So I'm early. I'm like 35, 40 minutes early. I'm going to see if they see me early so I can get in and get out. But um, hopefully they check me for effacement and see if I dilated any more since June. I'm hoping so, y'all. My son said he think it's today. For some reason, he just felt like today is the day. I'm still having the contractions, but they are, like, random. They, like, coming when they come in, and they hurt. They they are not the same as the Braxton Hicks. They hurt, but they just come random. So, I don't know. Maybe it's just how I am contracting. You know, you can be contracting, and it could be any day. You know, it could be at two weeks from now. Hopefully not. Hopefully it's sometime this week. I'm just ready for him to come out, okay? Y'all see my hair? Mm-hmm. It's a half wig. I just pulled this out the closet. I need to do something about this gray right in the front. I got one of the little pencil things, but y'all know I really don't care. I was just trying to get some type of normalcy back in my life. I, I look completely different to me. Like, my nose is so wide and face is so greasy and dark. So... Hopefully that comes back to life after the baby is born. Um, I don't know why I put long hair in because I'm going to be hot in the mud. But whatever. My hair is braided up underneath. I just got like a horseshoe amount out. But I can still pin it up and put it in a ponytail or whatever. So I'll probably be rocking this, you know, for the next two weeks. Um, and I'm going to up, see, I mean... I can't talk. I'm going to come back and let you guys know what the doctor says. I have to see a midwife because the doctor I was supposed to see isn't going to be in today. Which, I don't care who sees me. I just hope they check me. You know, even though I don't like them all up in, up in there like that. But I need them to check me because I am, like, so ready. <sighs> Y'all, let's see how it goes. I'll be back in a minute. Hey, I'm back real quick with uh, the update of what the doctor said. Today I seen a midwife because the person I was supposed to see wasn't available today. Anyway, I'm really kind of disgusted with how they do things with this, this clinic. I don't like it. You know, since I've been coming here, I've never seen the same person, you know, twice. I've seen somebody different each time I've, I've come here since June. And the reason why I was here is because I ended up being high risk after the preterm labor contractions and hospital release and all that crap. And my midwife that I was seeing from the beginning of my pregnancy ended up retiring like the week after my um, discharge from the hospital. So I seen her that last time and then I just, you know, said I'll just come here from now on. I don't like the fact, okay, first let me tell you this. Everything is perfect so far with the baby. My measurements are fine. My blood pressure is fine. Um, what else can I say? This girl is going the wrong way. What is, what is she doing? She is going absolutely the wrong way. Oh my goodness. I'm so irritated. Anyway, everything is measuring perfect with the baby. But they will not check me for dilation. They will not check me for effacement. And it is pissing me off. You know, I told him I'm contracting. I am so puffy. Like, I can't hardly bend my feet to walk. I have, like, the flattest sandals on because I couldn't put my tennis shoes on. I had been wearing my tennis shoes to kind of push the water, you know, back up. Because it's, like, right up in this part by my toes. My ankle is up. It's just fat. I took a picture of it. I'll show you guys a picture of my, um, my foot. I didn't take both. I just took the one that's like really huge, which is my left. Anyway, I'm like real disgusted with that. 37 weeks, 5 days, and they won't even check me for effacement even or dilation. I've been dilated 1 centimeter, I know, from June. So I don't know if I opened up any more since then, which I'm sure I have. But whatever. <sighs> anyway. I'm going to show you guys a picture of my foot and then I'll come back, you know, again or whatever.
so I'm back after the picture or whatever. I just picked my son up from school. He gets out early on certain days. Um, I already got nothing else to talk about besides now I'm extra tired and sleepy. I wanted to do some walking, but my feet will not allow me to do that. I can't hardly walk down the stairs or walk up the stairs because they are so huge that they don't bend like they should. And they, they are really tight and like burning. So I'm going to try to elevate them and take a nap or whatever. And then I'll probably come back if I got something else to talk about. <sighs> Alright y'all, I'll see y'all later.